As a warning, what you are about to see contains one of the most graphic depictions of a disaster ever seen on television. But as difficult as it may be to watch, we feel it's equally important to tell the story of a human being's survival against incredible odds. A Florida Speedway, a wild and action-packed race. On this particular day, six major spin-outs and crashes have kept the emergency staff on constant alert. But the most serious injuries would not be sustained by a driver or even happen on the track itself. Fortunately, paramedic Mike Staley lived to tell about his brush with tragedy. With six laps left in the race, a multi-car crash has all emergency crews in action. Staley is tending to one of the accident's dazed victims. I approached the driver and started to interview him. He was sitting there, a little groggy. I started to give the hand signal to my partner that this was a real call when I looked up and saw something gray, black, and roaring approaching me. A speeding car loses control and smashes into the disabled auto, launching Staley into the air and coming to rest on top of him. Unaware that Staley was pinned beneath his vehicle, the driver made repeated attempts to get his car back in gear and into the race. Fortunately, during the accident, the drivetrain was broken and the vehicle wasn't able to move. I felt pain, but that pain was replaced with this heat, this burning sensation. When I was run over by the vehicle, I became entrapped in the exhaust system that was extremely hot. The safety vest that I was wearing was melting to me from the extreme heat of the manifold system. At the fire rescue station that I worked at, we had a saying, good news doesn't travel by helicopter. When the helicopter landed, I realized someone was seriously injured, and I thought to myself, wow, that driver must really be hurt. One of my friends came over to me and said, the helicopter has landed and we're going to put you in right now. And it was a little shocking because I didn't realize that helicopter had landed for me. Doctors had to fight furiously to put Staley back together again. There were over 100 fractures in his left arm alone. He had first, second, and third degree burns and both legs broken. He had a broken nose and hundreds of cuts and abrasions. In emergency services, you respond to a call that has happened and you usually don't know the patients. They're strangers. But in this situation, my friends were very excited about doing their best for me, trying to take care of a patient that was a friend.